already in the news for having had a meltdown against Caitlin Collins. His, there's three anchors, Poppy Harlow, Caitlin Collins, and Don on this morning show. It was a pro- pro- promotion. It was a promotion from his solo primetime show. Don't get fooled. Um, he had a meltdown because he said Caitlin Collins was interrupting him. However, there's now videotape on the internet that's showing he was all over her. He was interrupting her way more. Um, he apparently, according to the New York Post and exclusive reporting, screamed at her to the point where she ran out of the studio upset and the staffers around them were upset. Uh, CNN kind of denied it, but then said, well, it happened two months ago. So it seems like something definitely did happen. And now this is, and by the way, they haven't been anchoring in the same city. They've separated them, uh, which is also a tell. Like you're supposed to be in the same studio generally with your co-anchors. And that isn't solving it because this just happened. Citing the New York Post as a credible source and saying that facts are, it's just, I can't believe that we're here. Caitlin, that was a, a great interview. All right, moving Thank on. Um, anyway, well, not moving on because that's, listen, that's a big issue when it comes to the American, hold on please with the music. That's a big issue when it comes to the American people. The American people are going to have to suffer through all of this stuff from election deniers to people who don't believe in facts, we don't have a shared reality, and now it's taken center stage to people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, a an election denier, a conspiracy theorist, a QAnon sort of influencer or supporter presiding over the House of Representatives. Mm-hmm. It's a sad day for America when that happens, and it's a sad time for us when we have to deal with it. Okay, so here's the context you need to understand what just happened there. Caitlin Collins is interviewing James Comer, head of Oversight Now, who's doing all the investigations. And in that interview, he he mentioned something about the New York Post, cited something, referred to the New York Post. And then they wrapped. And when they tossed back to the studio, Don Lemon was chastising her in that clip for not challenging him on referencing the New York Post. Like, how could you? No, this is a big deal. The nation relies on, you know, whatever, reporting, good reporting. And then starts talking about other people who we shouldn't be giving platforms to and so on. So he's clearly got an issue with how she did the interview and chose to raise it on the air. And then it, so much so that he staved off the commercial break so he could finish making his point about how she should have handled that. Let me tell you, as somebody who has co-anchored with a lot of great co-anchors, no, no guy has ever done that to me. No guy has even ever come close to doing that to me. And that's not to say that I've never had a disagreement with a co-host on how an interview went or how the rhythm went on the air. That is totally disrespectful and out of line. What do you guys think? My God, like uh, staving off the commercial break too. I mean, just that alone. Um, I have lived in terror of uh, of uh, getting the producer in your ear like, got to wrap now. It's going to happen here <laughs> totally. in what, like uh, eight minutes. I'm going to see the clock and I'm going to start freaking out. Um, but staving that off, staving off the music so you can make your flatulent little point about the New York Post, uh, it's uh, it's very embarrassing. Um, you know, uh, like... Uh, you you can't, it'd be the, the similar to me to say that about like Fox News. I can't believe that you are citing Fox News. Well, Fox News does journalism every day. It's a news organization, regardless of what you think about it. Um, mm-hmm. What kind of, what kind of curious uh, person are you? What kind of journalist are you to did absolutely d- denounce an entire news organization that does journalism every single day? It's uh, Oh, and it's he's so mad about the New York Post, Matt. I mean, first of all, the New York Post is a great, a great publication. It's highly entertaining Fantastic. and informative. And secondly, they're the ones who broke the Hunter Biden story that people on Don Lemon's show and CNN told us was disinformation. Don Lemon probably said it too. I haven't gone back to check. But he's mad at the New York Post because they broke the story. That makes him look very silly, small, petty, and unprofessional. And so this is him trying to disparage them and his co-anchor in one fell swoop. If it is true that Chris Licht, the new head of CNN, wants to take CNN away from the kind of, you know, tumult of Trump coverage, which is very partisan. Let's get more to the center. I mean, it used to be you come, well, if you had to watch news, there was Fox on the right, there's MSNBC on the left. You want the news, you go in the middle, you go CNN. Wants to get back to that. Don Lemon is in that clip yelling at a journalist, a, a fellow journalist, because the person wasn't ideological enough. You didn't mm-hmm. say that Marjorie Taylor Greene was an election denier. How many times... Does Don Lemon think someone has to say that? Do you have to do the throat clearing in front of every person who has questioned, you know, stupidly, in my opinion, questions the results of the election? I mean, every single time? 
when is Don Lemon, Lemon going to be satisfied? He's taken that eight o'clock thing, that you know, yelling, shouting uh, show that he once had, and is trying to do it on a on a morning show. But the other thing is that I've been doing interviews for a very, very long time, and it is it is the lowest form of criticism for someone to say you should have said this, you should have taken this off ramp. There's about a thousand off ramps you can take in any given interview. Mm. There's about a thousand things you can say in any given interview. To say to somebody, why didn't you do this? There's like these book reviews that you read that say, why didn't the author write the book that I wanted to read? You're well, so didn't. right. How d- how dare he mansplain to her how yes. to conduct an interview Lem-splain. on the air in front <laughs> of the audience? It's like how, you know, a husband it's and wife disgraceful. are never supposed to divide and, and argue in front of the children. As yeah. co-anchors, you don't argue in front of the audience. They don't yeah. want to see that. They want to see a united front. They want to see people who get along, who like each other. These people clearly can't stand each other. And I got news for you, Chris Licht. You're going to have to break up the band. I, I realize you were finding a soft spot to land for Don Lemon, who you were demoting, in fact, from the primetime. This ain't it. You got to try again. And my suggestion would be to send him right out the door. Because not only has he had a long history of disinformation and dishonesty, I guarantee you, Caitlin Collins is not the first colleague he has sat across from who he's treated this way. The media should do its homework. What's your gift going to be this Valentine's Day? How about taking 10 or 15 years off your appearance with Genucel Skincare? It's a gift to yourself. Right now, every one of their most popular packages, that's all their best stuff, is 70% off. By the way, I love the most popular packages. They idiot-proof it for you. If you're like, I don't even know where to begin, you just get one of those and they will walk you through it. It's like introduction to good skincare. Uh, and this includes the next breakthrough in skincare technology. Right now, they're offering their probiotic moisturizer absolutely free. These super ingredients found in yogurt can have the same nourishing benefits and goodness for your skin. Probiotic extracts can target bad bacteria on the surface of your skin to restore balance to your skin's microbiome for a noticeably clearer complexion and visibly younger appearance. See those fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, sagging jawline, and even bags and puffiness visibly disappear right before your eyes, thanks to Genucel. Plus, with its immediate effects product, see results in under 12 hours guaranteed or your money back. Go to genucel.com slash mk60 right now. And for the first time ever, every order at genucel.com from now through Valentine's Day will include a beauty box with two luxury gifts. Order now, two weeks only, genucel.com slash mk60, G-E-N-U-C-E-L.com slash mk60, genucel.com slash mk60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.